going on everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack. I'm back at you again with another video. Got to welcome you guys back to the channel. A couple ways you can keep up with me. You can follow me right here on YouTube. You can sub up to the channel if you like. And I agree to appreciate it if you do. Also hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video here on YouTube. And there's a list of the socials. I am active on those socials. And you can catch me in the Family Vibe Discord group. A lot of helpful information going on in that uh, Discord. If you're interested, hit the uh, message button on the Instagram page that you're seeing on the screen right now. Or you can hit me up and ask me with the information you need to know and I can send you in the right direction. Today we take a look at a sneaker that released probably a week, a week and a half ago and I finally got my pair in from Nike. I hit on the sneakers and for retail. Not sure what the issue was, but I kept getting emails from them letting me know that we didn't forget about you. The sneaker is on the way and blah, blah, blah. Finally, I got the sneaker in the day and we're gonna take a look at it. Here is the box, jaw one box, black box, red Nike lettering. And here is the uh, box label. Let's go ahead and read it. it says Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG Color White Dark Powder Blue and Black Size 14 Personal Pair. I believe these retail at 140 or 50 US dollars. The box top is open. Here we go. Red lot stamp right there. There you go. Let's toss that aside. While we look at the tissue, pretty much rough on one side smooth on the other and look on the inside there is no green and white ydm sticker here we go guys we have the air jordan retro one low unc we got that north carolina color blocking and let me know what y'all thoughts are on this sneaker drop that in the comment section and we're gonna get into the review. We got white leather on your quarter panel, and it's a decent grain, it's nice and soft. We have a black leather Nike swoosh. We have some black, and it's like a silky leather going along your lace eyelets, your side panel right here, and your mud guard. The leather on here reminds me of the leather on the, the Mystic Navy Jaw One Lows. I have a review on that. Peep that out after you watch this video. And we have a dark pile of blue going around your heel and the uh, heel badge. White on your midsole, dark pile of blue at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. There you go, Jordan 1 outsole. The low and the ones are very similar, they're exact to be clear. And this is the heel, like I said earlier, dark pile of blue on the heel and the heel badge. The Jordan uh, logo on the heel in black and is embroidered. Looking at the uh, medial side of the sneaker, you got white again on your quarter panel. Gray leather, black Nike swoosh, black leather again on the lace eyelets, side panel, and going around the mud guard. White on the midsole, dark powder blue at the very bottom, just like the other side. There's your toe box. Get a good look at that leather on the toe box. Pretty good. And it comes with these uh, black flat laces. Also, we come equipped with another set of laces. We have dark powder blue laces and they come in the box. There you go. I'm definitely placing those in when I wear them. Uh, you have a black nylon tongue all the way up and you have a black woven patch there you go with nike air and a dog powder blue colorway this is your call excuse me this is your dog excuse me this is your cardboard shoe tree there you go size 13 14 jordan jump man and on the other side it says die cut sock liner and here is your insert. We have a white insert. You see that size and sticker on here. And you have Nike Air branding in the dark powder blue colorway. And it's one of those dream cell inserts that we've been getting. 
and I've been saying this over and over, but I have yet to wear a pair of these Jordans with that insert. I gotta go ahead and break that cycle again. I gotta, you know what I'm saying, get rid of my virginity. And we're gonna read you guys the uh, production date, size 14, production date January 19th to April 29th. So almost four months of production with these. So this is the sneaker in a nutshell, the John 1 Low UNC colorway. Let me know your thoughts on the sneaker. Did you hit on sneakers app? Let me know how release day. Play it out for you because it was the men's and women's came out in this colorway. So of course I got the men's and they are sitting in a few places. I seen a couple of vlogs here on YouTube that this sneaker was actually sitting in the store. So let me know if it's in your city and what your thoughts on this sneaker. And if you can get it for retail, I strongly recommend getting it for retail. Now this is the end of the video and like I always tell you guys, if you can help someone get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.